the only black state senator in Massachusetts and the highest ranking elected black official in the state. Well, she stepped down from her post. Linda Dorsina Forey was celebrated by her colleagues from both parties yesterday, where she delivered not a farewell address, but what sounded a lot more like a see you later speech. I've loved this job. I've loved this place. I've loved my constituents and you, my colleagues. And my heart is full today. This is not a forever goodbye. This is not a sad farewell. She announced her resignation last month to the surprise of many and declared her plans to take a new job at Suffolk Construction as the Northeast Regional Vice President for Diversity, Inclusion, and Community Relations. Linda Dorsina Forey joins me now. Hey, Linda, nice Hi, to see Tim. you. So uh, we've all read it, but uh, give me a short version. Why did you decide to make this move? I felt like it was time. You know, I spent 22 years in public service, 13 of you in elected office. And, you know, I had to make some decisions, you know, for my family and my parents as a sandwich generation person. Is money a big part of the deal? Not money. You know, I feel that, you know, I spent 22 years. It's time to get like some private sector experience. And I think it's always a good thing. I think it'll make me a more well-rounded person, individual. So it wasn't to avoid hosting the St. Patrick's Day breakfast. Was not that at it? all. Okay, Come on, fine. not at all. What, what are you proudest of from all your years up there and in public service? What's the one or two things that you feel best about? Oh, my thing? gosh. Okay, I have several. I would say the piece around transportation, you know, bringing more transportation access to my community of Dorchester and Mattapan. I would say, um, you know, the whole piece around how housing and creating opportunity. Mm -hmm. But one of the big ones is really about intentional inclusion. You know, when you look at the headquarters hotel that's being built on the South Boston waterfront, you know, and with Massport, you know, there's a significant number of participation by people of color. That did not happen by accident. It was legislation that I crafted to make it happen. I suggested not having spoken to you on the radio that if you had had the votes for Senate president to succeed Stan Rosenberg, you wouldn't have quit. Was that right? I mean, no, I would not say that. I say votes? that. Wait a minute. I, you know what? We decided to vote for Harry Lee Chandler, right, as a transition candidate, but not just a transition. She's a great leader, and I'm happy she's the Senate president, and really I'm rooting for her. I can tell you my colleagues did reach out to me. I did look at the Senate president, um, C, and there were two things that came to bear, right? One, that there was a significant number of senators that felt that Stan Rosenberg should reach, can come back uh -huh. to lead the body. Um, were you like one of I them? felt, no, nope, I felt back then, like I do now, we needed to do a clean break that he should not come back as Senate president. And the second one was, you know, we decided to go and, and support Harley. Do you, this may be unfair, but did you not feel a special burden as the only black uh, state senator? There is one black mayor in Massachusetts. There is zero black senators. There are five, by my count, black members of the 160 member House of Representatives. Does that weigh on you? No doubt it does. I got to tell you, it does weigh on me, Jim. And, you know, for months, because I've thought about this, you know, for a while. And, you know, every time, you know, I would think about it with my husband, um, you know, a crisis would happen nationally, right? And the tone and the rhetoric um, would come forward. And my husband would say, okay, Linda, you know, you're the only black senator, you know, let's take a pause, you know. But I really felt like this was the moment. You know, opportunities like this don't come all the time. And I say this because it doesn't come all the time for people of color. Why have and, uh, we made such little progress, though? I mean, we have the only, I was going to say, uh, uh, well, uh, Deval Packer used to say this, the only African-American governor re-elected oh, to yeah, office. That's right. Many people thought that would be a breakthrough moment. The numbers I just listed are pathetic. Yeah, the numbers. They're, so why have we made such little progress? I know we have to do better. i got to tell you, Mayor Yvonne Spicer in that's Framingham. That's what I'm talking about. That Brandon, is who you're talking about. She's, ago. she's amazing, okay? And she was able to build a coalition. And so we know that folks need money to run campaigns, but it's also the message about knocking on doors and letting people know you're there to represent all of them. Um, but we have to do better with that. Was there a lot of pressure on you? I know you had the discussion with your husband, who's obviously the man behind the Dorchester, the great Dorchester reporter. Thank you. But, but no, it is. But was there pressure on you in your community saying you can't do this? I know it's important for you, for your family, but you have a larger responsibility than them. Did you hear that? Or? Of course I did. And I always tell you that I was there for 13 years and I think I did the best that I could and I hope that they're proud because I was so happy to represent the 12th Suffolk District and then the 1st. So Mattapan, Dorchester, South Boston and High Park and Milton. And so no doubt when I announced, you know, people were shocked um, that, wow, I can't believe she's leaving. But this was the time to do it. Why one day's notice? It, well, it wasn't really one day's notice. Well, it was okay, one day's well, you notice. know, it felt like one day's notice. But I, then I came back yesterday and I did my farewell okay. speech. But I'll say to you that you know, but people have done had set the stage too. I don't think this is something that's 
abnormal to leave public service, though it doesn't happen often. But Governor Deval Patrick did it. Governor Pat His Baker did it. Yeah. You know, and they were there yesterday okay. as well. OK, we're going to look forward for the final okay. minute. But by looking forward to look forward, we have to look back to okay. one of your finest moments. Here it is. You know, we're just going to stick with the one token Republican this year. <laughs> ironically, though, ironically, I used to be the token at this breakfast. <laughs> Okay, so who's going to host the St. Patrick's Day breakfast? Don't tell me. We'll announce soon. Who's it going to be? Wait, no. Is it going to be you no, as a surprise? No, no, no. I am not hosting the breakfast, but I am raise working right with the South Boston delegation. Raise your right hand and say I'm not delegation. hosting the breakfast. What? Raise your right hand and say I'm not hosting the breakfast. Oh, yeah, no, I am not hosting the breakfast. Do you know who's going to host the no, breakfast? No, no, we're working on it. Literally, I, it's, it's, it's between Congressman Lynch, um, city councilor. I think, you know, we're working it out to see who it's going to be. But I know, the, I'm telling everyone the breakfast is happening because okay. I know that was a concern. Like, wow, what's going to happen? I, this tradition has been going on for Concerned 65 plus years. Dozens of people. It will people. be fine. One last thing. That... Never say never at the end. Was there, did we read more into that than we should have? We only have a few seconds. When you basically said, I'm not really saying goodbye, I could be back here someday. I mean, I say this because I, I love the work that I've done for 22 years. And again, like Governor Patrick and Governor Baker, you can leave and come back and serve in a different way with the private sector experience and the business lens. And so, you know, you just never know. You know, I tell you something, I couldn't say this while you were there. I can say it now. You yeah. did a great job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so Linda. much. Lots Jim. of luck in the future. Thank you so Look much. Look forward to seeing you.